I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another player review. Today, we are going to look at... Berardi. I know, it's the cheapest team of the season available from the Italian League, so why am I doing it? If you go back and have a look, I know you won't, so I'm going to tell you what I said. If you go back and have a look at the 6 o'clock content from Friday, which is when they revealed the Italian team of the season, I said that the 288 look very, very promising. So Berardi has a lot of stats in, in the right areas. You know, he's got the lean body type, he's got high-low work rates, he's got four-star skills, he's got pace, he's got agility... There are a few things here or there that I'm not happy with, stamina being one of them. His height is a little bit off-putting considering he doesn't have the best reactions and balance, but still, we'll work with it and we'll have a look, right? Pellegrini's another one. Pellegrini, um, it, it's a card that obviously is in the same squad as Berardi here, but he may or may not come out today. I'm not sure whether I'll release both 88s on the same day, but those were the cards I was interested in using, believe it or not, because I like them in real life a lot, so I kind of wanted to use them in-game. Now, three-star weak foot, not ideal. If you remember that he's left-footed, you should be fine. But yeah, it's not ideal, I grant you that. 83 balance and reactions with 84 composure, not amazing, especially considering he's six foot. Why does that make a difference? Uh, I mean, it does. I mean, it, it makes a difference because if he's 5'8 or 5'10, then the agility, the ball control, dribbling and pace with the lean body type combination should be enough to sort of give him that feeling of, of mobility, if you will. I, sound, I can't word things properly, I apologise. But he, he will feel a little bit zipper, zippier on the ball. He'll feel a bit faster, a bit snappier. But because he's six foot, lean body type, he's going to have the same feeling as Jao Pedro or someone like Talisca, for argument's sake. Now, Talisca is obviously taller, but he, they, they're very they're very slender. They're slim and they're tall. And they have that sort of, I don't know, the, the rigidness to them, if you will. Even though he has 99 agility and he's got that pace, because of the height and the body type, it's a bad combination in FIFA 20. Uh, it, it's irritating, but it, it is what it is. Not to say that he's not fast, because he is. In a straight line, this guy is very quick. And of course, we've got the engine chem style applied. Reason for that, I mean, a couple of reasons. I wanted to give him the uh, pace boost, so up by 5, 96, 96. The agility can't go up anymore, so that remains 99. And then the balance goes up by 10 to 93. We also get a reactions boost up to 88, and we refine ball control dribbling both up to 99. That helps no end. I tell you what, that is a fantastic chem style to use on this card i would argue or I, I would i would imagine people will argue that if you give him a maestro or an artist or whatever you could get him up to a 94 rated cam and refining the vision up to 99 would be far more beneficial than making sure his dribbling stats are boosted up by like two and eight and you know i, I can kind of understand where you're coming from but for me the, the feel of a player with less stick and with jockeying and, and skill moves and so on, far more important on how accurate this guy can pass. So for me, I would take mobility over anything in this game any day of the week. I want someone who is quick in a straight line, someone who can dribble, someone who can do skills and someone who can turn around when I actually tell them to. With this chem style, you feel a massive improvement and yeah, I, I can't put a price on it. The engine chem style, you need to put it on him. You need to use it. It, it is a, a world of, of um, difference. Now, not to say that this card is fantastic because there are 100% some issues here. The 86 finishing, if you want to use him as a striker, not ideal. We can't improve that and give the same boost to pace dribbling and uh, give a little pa uh, passing boost in there as well. So there's nothing we can do about it. Of course, if you just want to play him in uh, rivals and you want to give him a little stat card, I'm sure that will, uh, will help you out. But of course, we're not doing that. So that's annoying. You do have good long shots, 92. Great shot power, 97. Positioning is good enough. It's not perfect. Sometimes he does wander here or there, but that high attacking work rate and me telling him to stay forward as well as getting in behind really does help, especially with the engine chem style boosting up the balance and the pace makes him feel that little bit quicker, which means he has got the drop on most defenders. There aren't many centre-backs or indeed full-backs who can not only keep up with Berardi, but have the same starting position. 
The only player that I would imagine is going to be able to do that is someone with a high-low defensive work rate. So Costas Manolas, for example, he has good pace and he's good on the jockey and he will play deep. So he has a high defensive, low attacking. That is a great... Um, I can't think of the word combat. Is competent a word? But it'll combat Berardi's work rates, basically. So you need someone like that to defend against Berardi to get the drop on him. So it sort of cancels it out, right? Now, the other thing worth mentioning uh, as a negative is going to be the physicals. Apart from the aggression, the aggression is fantastic. And you don't realize how good high aggression on an attacker is until you have it. So he doesn't have great strength, right? 76 strength isn't great. He's six foot with, you know, a lean body type but he doesn't have great strength and his balance isn't amazing so unfortunately he does get muscled off the ball quite easily but that aggression will launch him into challenges not to the point where he's lunging out of your control and he's going to get himself booked but he goes in there with literally 99 aggression he will launch himself into a challenge so it kind of it doesn't make up for the strength and the balance completely but it does help in, in the sense that he will sometimes come out with a ball where you would fully expect him not to. Because obviously you're going to go into challenges with not that many, like not, not that much strength or confidence that you're going to come out with the ball because you're up against someone who's very strong and tall. But the aggression will launch him in at such velocity that he should actually come out with it, which is, which is quite nice. Not all the time, but it, it's decent. The stamina is a problem. 82. Not going to try and sugarcoat that in any way if you use him as a, a super sub obviously it's less of an issue but there are players out there who are better super subs than him and maybe even cheaper or maybe you've got one untradeable or whatever from previous team of the seasons so that could be uh, a null point to make really the jumping is kind of irrelevant because no one ever crosses in fifa 20 anyway unless you're going after um, an objective card of course in which case yeah that's not ideal either so We've had a bit of a mixed bag. We've got this is great, we've got that's terrible, we've got this is good, but this kind of counters that. So it's a bit of a mixture of a player, really. Now, if we're coming to the, the grand old what do you think of it, is it worth picking up argument, it kind of falls under where you are in FIFA, really. Unbelievably, there are still people out there who have got very bad teams. You know, people are still using full teams with the exception of maybe one or two players, of just base cards, you know, gold cards. I come up against them quite a lot, actually, in, and I, you know, sometimes you can argue that maybe they're going after objectives or whatever, but there are some people who have played it for a little while, gone through a period of, oh, I don't care anymore, I'm just going to rinse my entire club into some SBC, some upgrades and packs, and now I'm left with nothing, and now they come back to the game thinking, right, well, I want to give it a go, and oh dear, my team is nowhere near good enough, I'm getting slapped about the pitch, what can I do? Berardi, I think, is that sort of bridge player. So he's 35k. He's got the ability with a chem style to go up into a 90 plus rated player. 93, basically anywhere in attack with an engine, bar striker, because that finishing is just a little bit on the low side. You could turn him into a 94 rated cam if you want. Like I said, with the other chem styles, that's entirely up to you. But with an engine, you've got that bridge player who, if you are behind the curve massively with your team and you need that kickstart, Berardi could be that player. The other flip side of that coin is, if you've unlocked Politano's milestone card, this Berardi card, kind of pointless for you, unless you're willing to play him left wing, out of position on 7 chem, and you have an Italian team. That is the only instance where I would imagine he would be of use to you if you don't have Politano, and you haven't really played that much FIFA, maybe you've got less than 100 games played combined, and your team isn't that good, you've got maybe 100k to improve your team, Berardi is definitely a good shout then. It's a very niche category, I grant you that. Of course, Sassuolo fans will disagree with me, and you can go pick him up if you want. I mean, I, I more than understand if you're a fan of the, the player or the club that he plays for, then that's 100% justified. Fair enough, go for it. You'll probably enjoy him. And that's not to say that if you don't need that bridge player, and you're not in that situation, and maybe your team is very good, but maybe you like to try out new cards, Berardi is fun to use. He's just not a player that I would want to take into champs realistically, given the choice. If you've got money to buy someone else, someone more expensive, someone a little bit better, then obviously you want to do that. I wouldn't go and plump, like for instance, Kent, right? You've got that, that Kent card who probably costs like 20, 30k. 
and maybe you've, you're sitting on a million coins, you will still use that Kent card because it is quite literally a cheat code. Berardi is not that cheat code. If you've got a million coins, you're not going to go and use him in Weekend League. He's good. I enjoyed him. But there are definitely some flaws there. The stats don't really come up to standard of some of the other cards available. And that's kind of my stance on it, really. I, I'm enjoying you know, for the most part, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I tried him out. And I, I probably will, you know, pick, hopefully, at least I'll pack him untradeable at some point. Not from the guaranteed, but hopefully from some pack, I'll, I'll pack him untradeable. And I can sort of use him now and again and bring him on as a bit of fun. But, yeah. Uh, definitely one that I think is more for the fans than anything else. If you have enjoyed that video, then do me a favor and hit that like button. If you've used him, let me know what you think of him in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.